Frank and uh, Larry, can you please come to the floor with me? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The Jew and the Marine Corps Lead Patriot Detachment members, members of the Veterans Advisory Commission, and any veteran in the audience that would like to join us, would you please come up here? Tonight, we recognize and honor another of our Northampton Patriots, with senior airmen, Timothy Ryle, and his parents, Betty and Chris, Please come up here and join us. As many of you are aware, this program began about 14 years ago on April 23, 2003, when the Board of Supervisors introduced our Northampton Patriots flag program to honor our Northampton uh, residents serving at that time in Operation Iraqi Freedom. Back then we knew of 24 such residents, and as of today, due to the expansion of the program to include Afghanistan and other hostile areas, we know of 84. Behind the dais is a flag display holding both military and American flags, 84 of them. <coughs> At one time, all were military flags, each representing the branch of service and identifying the resident with a yellow streamer with his or her name affixed to it. And as each one returns home, and so far 84 have, we return his or her military flag and replace it with an American flag. After this evening, there will be 85 total flags, with one of them an armed service flag. And that's awaiting return to his representative, and that's an army flag that's up there. <coughs> now, last Saturday, we were made aware that Tim was on his way from the airport after he had come back from his deployment in the Emirates. With only one hour's notice, three of the supervisors, Myself, Kristen Riley, Kelly Drucker, Andy Gannon, and several of Tim's friends and neighbors rushed to his house to await, it, to await his arrival while he was being escorted by, uh, from I-95 by several of the volunteer fire company trucks and personnel. Many of those firefighters are here this evening with us. And we never had, because we weren't informed, the opportunity never knowing that Tim had deployed, to customarily put his service flag in the display. So what we did, since you came back, we had your flag put in there, the Air Force flag, and a few moments ago, Chairman Moore uh, replaced that flag with the American flag. And Mr. Moore, I assume you're holding that flag now? I write everything. Right, <laughs> On behalf of the township, I want to welcome you back. I know you're. Um, okay. <laughs> I know your parents are very happy to have you back, as we are all. So it's very exciting. Uh, it's very exciting. I got the call from Adam saying that you're coming back, and I know you're very active in the, the township with the car company, and um, I know you have a lot of service overseas, and we certainly appreciate it. And we're hoping that you're home here for good. Thank you. And then I'd like to present you with this, with the, uh, the flag of the United States Air Force. And uh, congratulations. And thank you. Thank you. Now we have some more special uh, citations for you. And representing congressmen, and, and our legislators are all tied up both in D.C. and Harrisburg because of the tax bills and everything else that's going on. So they had the citation sent over, but here from Congressman Fitzpatrick's office is David Gibbon, who would now like to make a presentation. David, here you go. Thank you, Pete. Welcome home, Aaron. Thank you. From your Congressman, Congressman Brian Fitzpatrick. With very short notice, we were able to actually have this American flag flown over the United States Capitol. 
and rushed up here to be here for the ceremony and presentation this evening. Mm. So uh, it is my privilege and it's an honor to represent the congressman and welcoming you back home to your community after serving your country. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Representing Scott Petrie is uh, Supervisor Larry Weinstein. Thank you, Pete. Thank you. We'll read this proclamation that Scott Petrie obtained for you, and it reads The Pennsylvania House of Representatives honors Air Force Airman First Class Timothy Ryle for your devotion to our country and for your patriotic service at a time of great need. Your, de your dedication to the goal of keeping America free has served to earn you the title of Northampton Patriot. You are truly appreciated by the entire community. In this world of ordinary people, you are simply extraordinary. 25th day of October, 2017, State Representative Scott Petrie. I just wanted to say, joy to see everybody at the house over the weekend and and we really we value you you have dedicated your life to service whether it's the fire company keeping our township safe whether it is the community as a police officer keeping all of us safe or keeping the country safe certainly is as an airman in the united states air force so while you're doing all these amazing things dedicating your life to keeping all of us safe we just pray that the lord always keeps you in his prayers and keeps you safe. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. And Larry here was our point of contact last Saturday as he kept texting with the Chief Adam Selisker. Yes. Uh, are they here yet? Are they here yet? Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> okay. Representing Senator Tommy Tomlinson, Frank O'Donnell. I'm very happy, Tim, to have the uh, opportunity to see you when we return uh, on Saturday. Uh, I want to add to your flag collection. <laughs> this never one, never too many. This is uh, this flag was flown over the Capitol in Harrisburg, and it's given to you by Senator Tommy Tomlinson. And I have a, I have a uh, certificate of recognition, but I want to say a few other things first. You know, you're you're an individual who really understands what service is about. It's service to your country. You have other people over here, service to your community as a volunteer fireman. And a lot of people just don't understand how much work that actually is, how much training you go through, and how much training these other gentlemen over there go through, and how important it is to the community. We almost take it for granted, because if you dial 911, the fire company shows up. But it's because of the work that you do and they do. And now what you're doing is you're going to Philadelphia, and I think it's what, 22nd of West Norman? 24th District. 24th District. I guarantee you, you're going to be a very busy police officer. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I do want to read this certificate, but I also want to acknowledge that we also have Anita Fleming, uh, the yellow ribbon liaison from the Air Force Unit, Will Grove, who's here. Anita, I think you're here somewhere. We just want to say hello. Hi. This is the uh, actual Senate of Pennsylvania certificate. Air Force uh, Senior Airman Timothy Real. Welcome home. The Senate of Pennsylvania is always proud to recognize its citizens who, through outstanding achievements, bring great credit to themselves, their communities, their families, and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Thank you for your commitment to serving our great country as a senior airman in the United States Air Force. May this certificate, offered with the best wishes of the Senate of Pennsylvania, serve as a lasting reminder of your achievement, and may you enjoy continuing success in the future. Thank you, sir. Well, I'll get that now. We'll have a 10-second delay while Mr. Powell gets up. Sorry for the delay. I'd, ask, I'd like to ask Chris once to come up. Yay! 
Chris, this is this is like a, you know I'm happy to be able to present this to you, but I'm also sad that we have to. You know, we have as a country now. This has to be the longest war that the United States has ever been in. 16 years from 9/11 to now that we've had this war on terror. And how many men have served, and more men have served? You look at that flag display. The first, the first display was made by a retired carpenter named Dave, Dave Hardy from Bucks County Community College. It was presented November, presented November 10th, 2003. It was capable of holding 36 flags. On April 5th, Rick Muntz, at the request of Bernadette Heenan, presented the township with a new display capable of holding 70 to 80 flags. At the time, 37 flags were placed in the display. As the years continued, and after drilling several more holes, it was uh, able to hold 84 flags, and again, we were running out of space because of Northampton residents serving in harm's way. This new display was added. I understand Steve McGill Jr. did the drawings, and it was refinished by Dwayne Gessner, uh, and a, one of your employees. Construction it was constructed on October 6, 2017. With the additional level, the new display has the capacity for 132 flags. And I think we can all say a prayer that we don't need to fill it. Okay? So I, I just want to thank you for what you've done, for your help in recognizing those of, that have served and who may be serving in the future. And I want to read the certificate of appreciation from the township. Whereas Chris Month, a Northampton Township resident and a business owner in Holland, PA, <coughs> volunteered the services of his company to expand Northampton Township flag display that held 37 flags honoring members of the Northampton Township community serving, the armed, uh, serving in the armed forces. And whereas Chris Month, on October 5th, 2006, presented the township with an upgraded display capable of holding the 80 flags, and whereas on October 6, 2017, Chris again volunteered his services to create an additional level to the existing display to increase the capacity size to 132 flags. And whereas the armed, force, the armed, uh, armored, the armed services flags displayed represent patriots still deployed, uh, still on deployment in hostile areas of the world and serve to remind us that freedom isn't free and those who are willing to pay the price, the time away from their families, and the endless dangers should be recognized as true heroes. And whereas the American flag represents our patriots who have returned home, a memory of their service and sacrifice to their country that should never be forgotten. Now therefore, on this 25th day of October 2017, the Board of Supervisors of Northampton Township hereby gratefully acknowledges the efforts of Chris Munch for his continued support of our community's military men and women. Board of Supervisors, uh, Barry Moore, Chairman. Chris. Everyone, this has helped us put this together, and uh, I get the credit, but they really do the work. And, uh, Everybody, all the service people, I can't say enough. Uh, this is the very least I can do. Anytime I can help the township uh, and this area, I'm happy to do it. I think you're here for folks, Tim, but would you like to say a few words? Tim, I'll help you. Thank you. First, I'd just like to thank everybody for being here tonight. Um, if you're from the, my brother's sister's fire company, the uh, Marine Corps League and the Patriot Detachment. Couldn't, uh, couldn't thank you guys enough. Uh, it's overwhelming being here, and uh, I'm proud to be a part of the township. And uh, most importantly, the server township, as great as Northampton Township. And uh, the supervisors, just want to say thank you, and, uh, for, and thank you for everyone for being here tonight. Thank you. Yes, I'd just like to say thank you to all the supervisors for coming out and giving Tim a warm welcome home. Thank you, Tim, for your service, and thank you, Pete, for all you do for our veterans. And uh, thank you for the Northampton Fire Company. You're like a second family to my kids, and they really enjoyed being with you all. Thank you.
as has been documented so often, those who serve our country in the military are at risk, whether they're on U.S. soil or foreign soil. Their lives are put on the line each and every day. Four good special forces soldiers lost their lives in Niger just a couple of weeks ago. Northampton and our country are proud of what our military are doing for the freedoms we enjoy here at home. We always mention at these ceremonies that two of our patriots never made it back alive. And of course they were Army PFC Bobby Dombowski Jr. and Army Master Sergeant Ken Elwell. Their American flags are in the display front and center with the black streamers containing their names. We'll never forget Bobby and Ken and the service they gave while paying the ultimate price. Bobby Dombowski, 10 years ago, on May 24, 2007, and Ken Elwell, six years ago, on July 17, 2011. Sue uh, Elwell, is nor Sue Burke, is normally here. She's not here. Tonight. And she's not here tonight because I think her mom <coughs> passed away. Right, Bernadette? I think her mom passed away recently, and that's why. Uh, so, Tim, thank you for your service and giving us the opportunity to honor you this evening. Welcome home. God bless you and all of our troops in harm's way, and may you keep them all safe. And thanks to everyone for coming out here tonight to celebrate with us. Thank you. How about a group shot you did all of this day? Kelly, you want to move that way? Can we wait for one second? Yeah. Sure. And his brother is oh, also yeah. in the fire department. <laughs>